I'm here right now with Johnny Langendorf. He is the driver who really chased the shooter after what happened. Describe to us exactly what happened and, you know, how you ended up chasing him. Um, I was coming from the VP station right here off 87, and I took the same back street that I take every time I leave there to go to my girlfriend's house. And I came upon the intersection of the church where uh, the, the, the shooter and a neighbor uh, had, were both coming out and both had weapons drawn and immediately started exchanging fire. Um, the shooter got in his vehicle and took off. The, the other gentleman who is, who is a member of this community came, jumped in my truck and said, uh, he just shot up the church, we gotta go get him. And I said, okay, let's go. And so from there, we, we blew through this intersection and we started going about 90, 95, keeping up with this guy. The whole time I'm trying to keep the, the gentleman calm mm -hmm. uh, who was in the shooting, who was in the shooting and stay on the phone with dispatch so that cops knew exactly where this guy was. Um, it lasted about 10, 12 minutes, the, the, the whole chase itself. And then the, the shooter lost control of his vehicle, ended up in the bar ditch. Uh, from then, and then I, pay, I parked my truck across the road. Uh, me and the other gentleman took refuge behind it, and the other gentleman drew his rifle on the gunman. The gunman never got out of his vehicle. Um, from then, I went and directed traffic in case there was ever crossfire until police showed up. And once police showed up, they, they reacted quickly and efficiently, and they really did a great job about everything. And do you know, was the gunman ultimately killed, I mean, from a self-inflicted gunshot wound or being shot by someone else? I'm not sure. There was no gunfire from the time he lost control till the cops, till anything. There was no more gunfire. Um, and then once the cops got there, they pushed me and the other gentlemen so far back, we couldn't see anything anyway, because they wanted everybody as far away from danger as possible. So you were telling me that you're from Seguin, Texas. You're not from here. But did you know anyone who was killed? Uh, no, ma'am. No, nothing confirmed. I, I have a friend whose grandparents were in there, and I'm still waiting to hear from him on that. And so I'm just hoping for the best. Yeah, and, you know, a lot of people, the sheriff here, calling calling you a hero. What do you have to say about that? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just a man who did, did what I felt was the right thing to do. During the pursuit, was there gunfire coming from your vehicle? No, sir, there was no gunfire. Once once everything left the church, there was no gunfire. So he and he was driving somewhat normally? I mean, it was not erratic, like, waving back and forth like he had been shot? Uh, no, sir. We were, we, like I said, we were driving at, at a pretty high rate of speed, going in and out of traffic. Yes, I was trying to keep up with him because he had got a little bit of a head start from between him leaving and the gentleman crossing the road to get in my truck, and so we really had to catch up with him. Um, there were a few times that there there could have been an accident, but thankfully there wasn't. And when that neighbor came up to you initially when you were in your um, in your car, I mean, were you just like, let's go? I mean, that, that's exactly what I said. I said, let's go. There was no thought, no hesitation, nothing. You said there were no thoughts, but um, you knew the man was armed and you chased after him. There was that fast pursuit. What was going through your mind emotionally? Uh, nothing. He needed he needed to be stopped. That's it. I mean, that, that's the that's the bottom line is that he needed to be stopped. He was stopped. And he's not going to hurt anyone else ever again. When the, did you know initially the magnitude of how many people were killed? No. You never approached. No, sir. I never approached the vehicle. No, sir. And were you concerned about your own safety at all? I mean, that just not on the cover. No, sir. It wasn't honestly. And did you realize, you know, how many people were killed? Uh, no, ma'am. Not until not until very early this morning did I really get the the full blow of everything. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. We'll have more coming up. I'm going to send it back to you guys. But again, 26 people killed, more than 20 others hurt. The sheriff says 12 to 14 of those killed were children. And Johnny here was one of the drivers who chased the gunman, ultimately when the gunman lost control of the car and was later found dead. Still don't know how he died. Maybe a self-inflicted gunshot wound or possibly uh, gunshots from before the neighbor got into Johnny's car. I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio.